What's up, you guys? Okay, so today is gonna get really, really real, really, really sassy. Um, these are conversations from my own life experience, so it, if you feel the zest, we're gonna be a part of it together, and I'm pretty sure that as soon as I explain, you're gonna have some zest and you're gonna wanna say some things. So, we are a group of people, obviously, like, listen, we're on day freaking 15, so we are through, almost halfway through this 31 day challenge together. If you're here, you are the type of person that you obviously care about your future, you care about growth, you care about your happiness, you care about goals. You are the 1% and I hope that you know that. So sometimes if you rub people the wrong way or they're rubbing you the wrong way, it's because you're different. But for that, you will be a happier soul because you are assessing who you allow in your inner circle. That's why you're here, because you wanna be around positive people. It's not always that easy. And for the longest time, I was so frustrated in my own life because I didn't have those types of people around me. And still to this day, I will be confronted with, and this is the topic for today, toxic relationships. Now, if this is where the chat goes off. Is there someone in your life that is a little bit toxic or a lot toxic or medium toxic or just is not your vibe of human that when you are around them, you just, you're a different person and it's not good. Either anxiety spikes or you just aren't feeling the feels or you leave and you feel depleted. It can be, toxic can be many different things. So I want to talk to you today about who you choose, and it is a choice, who you choose to surround yourself with. Now I'm not saying family and, and all that because sometimes you can't, you know, we can't always choose our family, so it is what it is, but you can limit how often you see those people. So try and you know overcompensate the people that you do maybe have to see you know thanksgiving and all these types of things that you do maybe have to spend time with overcompensate that with personal development that we talked about but also assessing who you are letting into your sphere of people and what you're allowing into your brain and what i mean by this is you get to choose your friends you get to choose the people that are around you so choose wisely because if you're surrounded by I love this saying, someone, I, and I'm gonna butcher it, but I'm gonna just say it in my own Angie way. If you have four drug addict friends, who do you think um, you'll turn into? You'll ter probably turn into the fifth drug addict. If you have a friend, four millionaire friends, who do you think the fifth millionaire will be? You. It's literally, the most basic concept, but it, you are the sum of the five people you hang out with the most. So let's say the five millionaires or drug addicts you choose, right? And that's an extreme example, but it really is an example. And you will always level up. When you're around people that you know, they, they challenge you and you feel like you wanna elevate yourself, you will always, more often than not, rise up to that occasion. Now, is it more comfortable to be with people that are maybe having like an easier conversation, it's a lot more laid back? Yes, but you're actually hoping to raise them up and you might actually just fall down to their level sometimes. And it's not to be mean, it's that you want to have a certain level of happiness, just internal happiness, like you end the day and you feel good about yourself. And if you're struggling right now, it could be the people that you're surrounding yourself with. So I want you to assess something. The last time that you were around, you know, these people where you felt a little bit just drained or maybe maybe not drained maybe angry but i want you to assess not only the conversations that you're having with the people let's say just think about the people that you're around the most assess the conversations the quality of conversations i learned this from oprah and i know i've mentioned oprah already through this series but oprah says that there's three levels of conversations there is the most basic of basic you know mediocre conversation which is like the weather and just current, you know, the perfect examples right now, like current affairs. If your current conversations with the people that you surround yourself with most are about worldly affairs and you know what I'm talking about, then you need a new set of conversations and a new set of people. Second level is about other people, is about other people, other events, other things that, you know, you're either talking smack or just talk, you know, talking about other people. The most high level conversation is not about events or people. It's about aspirations, goals, the future, things that we love, things that light us up. And when you have that level of friendship and that level of conversation with other people, you leave that party or that event or that dinner or just that meetup on the side of the street feeling so lit up inside. 
whether it's just something that made you happy or something that you know lit you up you just you feel like a different person so assess the conversations that you're having and assess the post hangout energy levels so if you leave a hangout or a meetup or you've seen this person at an event or a family function and you are drained like you feel like you need a nap or you feel like you are angry that is something to assess as to how much that person is affecting your own energy levels and now I want to help you with something that has helped me tremendously. If you once were friends and you're feeling it's becoming toxic or it's um, family or whatever, one thing that you can give yourself a little bit of grace on is that it's okay to not be compatible with everybody. Compatibility is huge. And if that person is not serving you in terms of your happiness, energy levels, future, family, all the things, and you're just maybe not compatible that it's as simple as that you don't have to feel bad you're not a horrible person but compatibility is a big thing and when you find that magic and you leave room to find that magic because you can't find that magic if you're suffocated with a bunch of mediocre people in your life but if you leave room for that that is how you can meet some spectacular people and that has recently happened to Andre and I and it is so special and my goal for you is that you can find these people create this circle of just growth together and I just want you to comment down below on what you can shift, what you can leave out, what you can gain, and what you help to, you know, change in the future with who you choose to surround yourself with and maybe some toxic relationships that might be around you right now. And with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.